Hello, Tim Chester here, uh, just uh, wanting to introduce my new book from Christian Focus, Meeting Christ in the Garden. Over the past few years, the Song of Songs in the Old Testament has been particularly precious to me. It's the story of two lovers, but traditionally, uh, throughout uh, the, most of the history of the church, it's been seen as uh, a picture of God's love for his people and therefore of Christ's love for the church. And that's how I've come to see it. I think that's how it's intended to be read. And so that what that means is that it offers us a picture, not just of Christ's love for the church, but actually of his longing for the church. And therefore for us as individual believers, as, as people who are part of that church community. And so we see here his desire for us and the intimacy that he offers us. And so really, uh, as we read the song, it's an invitation to come and enjoy the love of Christ, to be intimate with Christ, to meet him in the garden, in the, in, in the garden imagery of the song, which really takes us back to the Garden of Eden and the intimacy that uh, God enjoyed there with uh, Adam and Eve. And so what I've done in Meeting Christ in the Garden is uh, collected 90 different readings from across the centuries as uh, different Christians from different traditions have sought to uh, read and apply the Song of Songs. It covers most of the book of the song, uh, and so you get a sort of sense of the uh, book as a whole, but primarily my uh, intention and what I hope uh, people will discover as they read the book is this, uh, that, that, that actually it's about Christ. It's an, it's a, it's an invitation to meet Christ, uh, to encounter him, in his word and to enjoy his, not just his love for us, but his desire for us.